Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today in this video I'm going to talk about anim layers. Now as a beginner, it might be a new concept for you because if you see in India about the education system in animation, you might not be aware of the term anim layers and you might not have used this when you are actually studying animation. This is what I had figured out when I started working and in the industry and it's it had been almost two, three years of my experience, then I came to know about this anim layers. So it might be new for you, but yes, we will exactly understand what are anim layers and how to use those options so that you can actually become more productive. This helps a lot in certain kind of animation shots. So without wasting time, let's dive into the video and actually see how it works and what exactly are anim layers now if you see this is my viewport and if you see here there is a run cycle which i had created earlier right so this is a run cycle if you see now talking about anim layers if you see on the right side there are normal layers which we add the objects right suppose we have to add some controls then we add here in the display option we have here create layer and we add the controls and the objects. These are normal layers. Okay. These are for objects and anything we have to remove or put or hide it from the viewport. Then we use these layers. But when you go to here, anim, can you see here? Just there is another tab after display, which is anim. Now this is a place where you will see the anim layer. So this is display layer this is anim layer if you see here there are options to add now in anim layers what do you add in anim layers in anim layers we add controllers you cannot add mesh because as you can see it's animation layers so whatever you do the animation that you have to put it on the layer and how to use it what is the actual concept of anim layers so if you see in a film or any of the shot if you really want to do an animation of a character suppose a character is walking or maybe the character is running and while running or walking if the character is speaking something or there is some acting dialogue or there is some tense situation whatever the movement apart from walking or apart from running that you need to animate right if you are doing a walk cycle with the acting suppose if i'm walking and i'm talking to a person here so i'll be walking and i'll be talking hey this is this so there will be my hand gestures there will be my head accents there will be the body transformation again the lower part will still be moving the lower part will still be in the walk mode or the run mode but the upper part that also will be in a walk mode so if you have to animate it later with your walk it's going to be too difficult to animate because if you see here if i select these controls okay if i select these controls already there are keys right already there are keys on every frame so if now you have to animate suppose this character is running and you want to animate some dialogue maybe he is speaking something while turning right here somewhere he speaks suppose he is speaking some dialogue here so if you see again and again i will have to actually put the keys and here on 10th I am already having a key. That means here there is already some movement happening on the 10th frame, which I have registered. Now, if I change this 10th position, then the actual position is going to change, right? Whatever the animation is there, that is going to change. Suppose in the walk cycle also, if you are walking, there is a specific movement we have, right? While walking, we do like this. So there is already a movement happening in the head or in the body. Then how do you preserve that movement and also do the acting? That means you, when you are acting, the influence of your legs will still be there on your body 
and you will be able to do the acting easily. So that is where we use the anim layers. Now, how do you use it? If you see here, anim, what I will do, if it's a run, suppose the character is running and now the character wants to speak some dialogue, maybe while turning. So now while turning, what do I need? What do I need? Which controls will be animated while turning? Obviously, we will need the spine controls, right? So select these controls of your spine. And then here, if you go, if you already select it, then you can select here, right? The last option. What is the last option? The last option will have all the selected controls and it will put into a new layer. And whenever, whenever you create an any animation layer, then there will be two layers created. One will be base animation. One will be anim layer one. This is by default. When you don't create anything, it's going to be blank. But the moment you create first layer, then the base animation will automatically appear. Now, why does it appear? What is the meaning of base animation? Base animation is your actual animation. If you see here, now if I select all, if you see here, this is my base animation. So whatever is happening here, which I have animated, suppose you will have a walk cycle. So that will come under your base layer. Can you see your green? Right. So that means whatever controls are in the base layer, I have selected those controls. Now, as you can see, when I created this anim layer one, we selected these controls, spine controls, hip and the pelvis, right? We selected these. Now, if you see here, can you see there is no key on the time slider, but we have animated it and it's getting animated also. Then why we are not able to see the keys here? Why this is blank? Now this is blank because we have selected here anim layer one. We have selected these controls and we have put these controls in anim layer one. So now whatever movement you have to do with your torso, you can actually play it here and you can actually put the keys. If you see, if I put a key on five and 10, then I can actually create a pose, whatever I want. If I want to change something, right? So this will be a new key then. These will be new keys and you can modify the pose. But again, if I've selected these controls, then only these controls will put, will be there on the anim layers. Now, suppose if you see here, I have selected, I have put the keys, I have moved the body. Now, if you see here, there is a shoulder problem. If I select the shoulder and if I rotate, the shoulder will get rotated on the base layer because I have not added shoulder controls on anim layer one. So you have to be very careful in this aspect because here you already have the animation of shoulders and now you have changed your pose with the help of anim layers. Getting it? So your hands also, if I say whenever you do these layers, so you should all, always do it separately. I will have the hands and the shoulder. So whatever the left side part is, Suppose the left hand and left hand will have left shoulder, left elbow, left fingers and the left wrist. All four things. I can create a new layer more. Anim layer 2. Now if you see here, on anim layer 2, you will not find any keys here. So now you can actually change the hand position. Change the hand position means if you want to speak some dialogue or do some hand gesture here, I can actually do here, if you see, I can move on the second part. 
now right click you can select objects whatever objects are present in that layer fifth if you see here can you see there is a transition happening and again it is going to the normal pose again it's going back to the after this it's going back to normal pose so if you want this pose to continue i can keep the pose till here and you will see that the base animation will still be there that means if i'm doing this pose then if i'm running this thing will automatically come in the hand because that is in my base layer I don't need to animate this. This is already there in the layer. I just moved from this to this. Okay, so I've changed the hand pose. And this is how you actually animate or do the shot where you want to do the dialogue shot while acting, while running or while walking. This is where the anim layers are used. And one more important thing, which is the best thing for anim layers is whatever controls you actually put on the layer right suppose this is the control can you see there is an option called weight one now the weight is one that means if i have done this pose so this is my one value this is the la final pose if you want that i don't want the hand here i want the hand somewhere here in between so what you can do is you can reduce the influence can you see here I can just reduce the influence to 0 0.5. So whatever my final position was, the system will calculate the 50% of that final pose and it will come to this pose. How great is that, isn't it? Right. So that is how you use your animation layers. And these are very important when you do the studio work because you have a lot of shots where you have to walk and do the acting or maybe run and do the acting. And it's not about only walk and run. Lot of times you can actually use this wherever you feel that there is too much of keys on the time slider and it, it is difficult for you to add another pose or add another action. Simply you can do is whatever the action is, if you feel that I only need to animate the hands, then you can select the hands and put in the animation layer and do the animation where you need it. So this is all about the animation layers. I want all of you guys to actually practice this one time. Just create a walk, make it infinity, have the walk for at least 100 frames and then just add a few of the controls like spine in a separate layer, right hand in the separate layer and left hand in the separate layer so that you can animate it independently and you can adjust the weight of individual controls, right? For torso, you can adjust for left hand, you can adjust for right hand, you can adjust. So that's how it is. I hope you liked the video and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as I can understand that it might be a new concept for you. If you really understood the concept, drop a comment in the comment section and share this video so that others also can learn from this video. So thank you so much for all your love and support. I will see all of you guys in the other tutorial. This is Naresh Chaudhary, India's first passion animator mentor, and I will see you soon. Take care.